Welcome Aquarian, this is uh, the month of uh, August. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, August 2020 or whenever you pick up this reading, because all these readings are timeless. So, so what is happening here um, in this uh, month? This month has the energy of uh, um, balance, hurt. So all this is going to be a balance of earth energies and it is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. It's fabulous. Um, this balance of earth energy is really bringing in some wonderful positive alignment of energies. So with the energy of balance, we're going to be looking at this bowl by bowl, week by week to see what is coming up. Um, so please remember to like and share these videos for the members who are a member of my channel your extended is already uploaded and this is wonderful and positive if you notice I have two layouts because um, for some of you this is the first time if this is your first time thank you for um, coming in um, some of you I'm always on camera unfortunately I can't be on camera so um, this is how we're going to be doing um, the layouts. This is how I basically do it even when I'm on camera. So if you notice, we have two um, different um, sort of layouts. And um, the reason is that we look at the Tarek layout and we look at mundane world um, to see what is coming up, who are working with you and how this is going to affect in your world. Um, what is the uh, um, going to be coming up. So first we um, look at uh, um, the Tarak world. So um, with the energy of balance, you also have balance in the second week that is coming up. So you guys have uh, um, some emotional, some inf information is coming out in the first week. In the second week, you have the energy of balance. In the third week, a relationship or whatever issues that some of you were dealing with, a marriage. I see some of you are going to be walking away from your partner, walking away from a marriage. So it could be walking away from family, some issues, some situation that was happening and transpired. I see some of you are going to be walking away and looking for some new and a better stability in your world. And this is going to be wonderful and positive. So we are going to be getting in. So as we look at the energies, what is coming up in the first week of uh, um, August, because August has four weeks, uh, we are seeing the energy of uh, uh, um, some information that is coming out, the page of voice, some information is going to be coming out uh, um, about, uh, your, um, it could be work or it could be a house. So some form of information that some of you could have been waiting for, some of you wanted, um, to know and find out is going to be coming out in the first week and it could be about the house so if you were looking for a house if you were trying to sell your house or you were trying to create some form of a situation relocation or trying to get some form of uh, communication with a house and that sort of a thing i see that it is uh, some information that was hidden some information about something that has transpired that you were not aware of is going to be coming out and it's going to be giving you some form of information so whenever the energy is coming up in a period a week um to help you guys it's all about communication communication and this communication that is coming up is very important because it's going to have some communication um is going to bring balance financial stability and balance to your world and this is all about balance so it could be work so if you're looking for new work in the first week um you could be getting some message if you had applied for work in july in the first week of august you're going to be receiving some message that is going to be really wonderful as we look at the second week, the second week has the energy of balance. It's a hurt energy. It's wonderful. And I see the energy of the three of swords. Some heartbreaks is going to be coming up with your materialistic stability. So um, Aquarians, be on top of your game, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see that in the second week, some balance heartbreaks with your financial stability is going to be coming up. 
and I see that some of you wanted to either move or relocate, but the possibility in the two first week is not looking good for some of you. So if some of you wanted to move or relocate, something with your financial stability that is not good, then you're going to be receiving some news about this. So be aware of that. As we look at the third week, we see the energy of the lovers and the nine of uh, the nine of wands. Now that is the energy of the lovers and inspiration, and there is some conflicts between some of you and your husband or wife. Whatever is transpiring, there's a whole lot of conflicts um, that is transpiring um, between, and it's emotional conflicts, and it, you're having emotional conflicts with your partner whoever your partner is whether you're married in a relationship so but it's an intimate relationship so you're having some form of um, um situation issues problem conflicts that is going on and it is coming out and it is showing up so you gotta be aware um aquarians because um this is like the changing of guards that august is bringing in and um August is bringing in balance, so you have to be aware. So a lot of you are going to be having problems with your marriage relationship. That sort of a situation where I see some of you have to resolve it. It could be with kids. It could be with your mothers, your parents. But um, once uh, um, this is a, um, a situation with a, a partnership, if you're in a relationship, so whatever your same-sex relationship, non-same-sex relationship, mondor relationship, there is going to be some conflicts and some problems. I see some of you are protecting your your parents. Some of you are protecting your partner and some of you are protecting your parents or your partners are protecting you. But there is some issues and some situation where protection is going to be coming in from parents for some of you of whatever is transpiring. As we look at the fourth week, what the energy of the fourth week is that there is a new start. So um, Aquarians, uh, you are leaving um this uh, month of august you're walking away from your troubles um the issues the situation the conflicts you're walking away from this and you are going towards um looking for a new start it might not happen the end of august because some of you could have been dealing with some issues it might not happen some of you um could be waiting for some new some information and um whatever this burden is it will be over but you're going to be walking away from it in august so as you go into september you're going to be seeing news coming in but um leaving the month of uh, august it's not going to be happening so heartbreaks the three of voice um worries uh, uh, sadness um and you're protecting yourself so this month is about uh, worries and sadness and you're trying to protect yourself some sort of the information came out that is heartbreaking and you're trying to um protect yourself your partner your kids and um you want to release whatever this burdensome situation is because it is really a very burdensome situation that a lot of you are going through and is dealing with i see with the energy of the home there is a um some of you there is some situation with the home financial stability um some of you as i said wanted to relocate um some of you um is waiting for the money in august but it's not going to be coming in august um you can see that in september some of you it will um but for relocation anyone who is relocation and is um hoping and to get some sort of a financial help it's not going to be coming in in august so you have to, to be aware of that. But for the rest of the people who have business, you could be having some sort of a um, success with your business because as you look at the oversight here, I see a uh, money and materialistic wealth could be coming in. So it is um, a very positive and um, how I do my readings, I always look at the top level, but I always go behind the illusions to see what is affecting you behind the illusions. So as we um, contempt and look at the energies um, that we're coming in and bringing balance to relationship is going to be one of the most important thing. Whatever is transpiring 
bring in balance to your relationship i see some sadness for some of you and especially people who are dealing with virgos um you could be receiving some message um some message that is very sudden but you have to access accept whatever is transpiring and is coming in because truth is going to be coming out about a cancer whoever this cancer is that is uh, um in connection a cancer and a Libran. Some news is going to be coming out. Light is being shed on a Cancer and a Libran. Whoever this Cancer and Libran is and whatever they have done, a light has been shed on them. There is some um, 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 unexpected information that some of you are going to be re receiving. It could be your kids. Uh, it could be family member. It could be your friends. But a Libran and a Cancer, some light has been shed on these people. And I see um, because of these two people, whether they're your friends or your relatives or your sisters, they have created some burdens. And I see your burdens is going to be over because it's as if a transition is coming up for these people. So if you were dealing with a Libran and a Cancer and there was some uh, obstacles or this Libra and this Cancer had created some form of uh, issues for some of you, light is going to be shed on these two people in order to get you out of some hardship that you're dealing with because this Libra and this Cancer was creating some emotional situation around some of you. As we look, balance is going to be coming in because some form of news is going to be coming in. Um, news of protection is going to be coming in for some of you. Um, there has been some issues and situation that was transpiring. And I see that some of you Aquarians are going to be protected. Some form of information or documentation is going to be coming at you that is going to be giving you some form of protection in order for you to release yourself out of some unfortunate burdens. A lot of you heartbreaks is going to be coming up with a Virgo. Uh, some of you wanted a new start with a Virgo, but I don't see this as happening. So um, some of you could be also receiving a message from a Virgo that they're ending a relationship, that sort of a thing. As we look at the energy of love, heartbreaks is coming up for some of you, especially if you're in a relationship. Um, I see heartbreaks um, where your partner could be um, um, walking away or you are going to be deciding to walk away from this marriage or this relationship. So I see heartbreaks is coming up for you and your partner. And especially if you're in a relationship with an Libran and a um, Sag, um, Aries, a Libran and an Aries, Whoever is in a relationship with a Libra in the Aries, I see you're going to be ending this relationship or they are going to be ending this. Some heartbreaks is going to be coming up for some of you. Some of you might um, get the message that you might have to move or some message that is going to be creating some sort of issues. Um, and it's going to be affecting your life, your family and your relationship with your partner, whether you're married or unmarried. OK, so there is going to be ending of obstacles, especially people who are in um, imbalanced relationship um, that is creating some form of uh, issues and problems in your relationship and how unbalanced things are. I see you're going to be walking away from this and I see your burdens are going to be handed for whatever issues and situation that was created around a lot of you. Your burdens are definitely going to be ending. So be um, aware of this. Be on top of your game with this and understand what is going to be happening and transpiring in your world because it is going to be very important how things are going to be affecting some of you and um how you're going to be dealing with some sort of an issue that is about to come up uh, for a whole lot of you. So be very understanding um, about what is happening, what is transpiring. Be open up to new starts, uh, whether in relationships. But um, for some of you, you're going to be um, starting a new job in the month of uh, September. And this is going to bring you more financial stability. So I see a whole lot of you um, turning your backs and moving forward and is going to be applying for a new job and this is going to be absolutely wonderful because whatever this new job is that you're going to be applying for um is going to be giving you a new start that is going to be helping a whole lot of you to create a whole lot of wealth in your world and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so I see wonderful alignment of energies is going to be coming up. There is no question about that. I see 
um, some of you could be starting a new job some of you are going to be deciding to move in together so let's say that you have been seeing each other for quite some time you're going to be deciding to move in together with each other because you realize that it's going to be saving you both a lot of money and it's going to be fantastic so I see a, a really um, you um, Aquarians are really leaving this month just walking away from whatever that was transpiring walking away from whatever issues, problems, and situations with um, relationships, turning your back. Some of you could be turning your back on your partner or your family member in order to handle some sort of a conflicts or issues that was going on. It could be friendships that some of you, especially some of you are going to be leaving your job and looking for a better job. And I see you have already found a new job where you're moving forward with some news is going to be coming in that is going to be some art rendering news. Some of you are definitely going to be finding out some some um, information is going to be coming in about an Aquarian and a Sagittarian. And uh, you, um, because of this information, is going to be releasing you from some sort of obstacles uh, that was affecting your life. Uh, stability, especially at work. Some of you are going to be finding a new business partner or some of you are going to be signing a new contract. That is there. That is coming up. Some of you were waiting for some form of documentation. Um, it's not going to be coming in in August, but it is. it will come in in September. So be aware and aligned with this. But some unexpected information, if you're in a, a relationship with a Sagittarian, some unexpected um, information is going to be coming in. I see a whole lot of you are trying to pro how to protect your kids or protect your family members from a, a deceptive situation that is happening around you. And you're trying to really be on top of the game and protecting your family and your family members. And this is going to be good. So let's go and look on the underlying energies that is coming up here. And um, what we're seeing is that we have the energy of merriment. And this is a really good. Um, this is the center. So I see some of you, um, some... Some unexpected news is going to be coming in that is going to be heartbroken because of some information that comes out about you and your partner or someone that you have some sort of a connection with, which it could be a sister or a brother or a far relatives. And when we look at this energy, the energy of merriment is going to be here because whatever news that some of you are going to be receiving is going to be um, bringing some form of positive energy in your world. So we look, we're working with the goddesses in this month. I love working with the goddesses. Um, these came in. I haven't done a review on them. I will do a review on them. So as um, as always, uh, um, Aquarians, if you're about to do any sort of exam, you're going to be passing and passing with a very strong colors. Um, you are... Um, knowledgeable Athena um the goddess of knowledge is going to be coming in for some of you Aquarians and bringing you um extraceptive information or inner wisdom or information so um if you decide to do an exam in this month this is going to be a good a very very good some of you are going to be receiving some um message but it's going to be good for you but bad for someone else so let's say um your sister is um or your friend, you're going to be passing, but your friend who is the liberal is not going to be passing, or the Sagittarius. But, but however, this is coming up or transpiring. Whatever the news that is coming in is some news of higher wisdom and knowledge. So this is always about exams, result, um, diplomas, passing, um, anything that has to give you that give you inner wisdom in order for you to um, create a better world for you if you're doing a book or you're writing a book I see some of you are going to start blogging or writing a book or writing down things because you have so much eye of wisdom that you're going to be using it in order to create a uh, um, financial stability for you in your worlds and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so this is a really positive alignment of energy um, that is coming in in the underlying uh, information some of you could be investigating uh, something some of you could be investigating a Sagittarian 
whatever is transpiring some of you um your mother could be a sagittarian and there are some issues that is transpiring and you're finding out some issue something that your mom has done that is coming back to haunt you so you Aquarians um, are going to be finding out some unexpected information and it's as if you ask what was going on or you ask for inner wisdom and guidance and the two first week um, the information is going to be coming out. So use the energy of the two first week uh, to ask for inner knowledge, higher wisdom and if you're doing an exam anytime in the month of August, it's going to be, you're going to be very, very successful. Some of you, you're going to be finding out that an, um, an older person, um, 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 at your work is under investigation. Um, some of you are going to be finding that out. It could be a boss or it could be just a whole local colleague is under investigation because they have found out something about this person and um, this person is really under investigation. As we look at the third week, the third week we have uh, um, this uh, a wonderful energy of this goddesses and uh, it's co-creation. And uh, what it is saying with the energy of co-creation, which is just so wonderful and so beautiful, is that as you co-create with others, um, you know, you can bring out a lot for yourself. So don't be aware don't be afraid don't be um you know don't want to you know communicate or try to create whatever um with another person okay don't close your heart off that is a sort of a thing it's as if some of you are going to be meeting someone but you're so afraid because you have been hurt in the past and you are very desperate you have, you feel the love but you are very desperate um to open up your heart and the universe and um and, and this goddess is, is saying, you know, co-create with another, okay? Open up your heart to the person. Be open for whatever is coming in. And it's as if people are offering you um, things, but you're so desperate because you have been hurt in the past and you have opened up to other people in the past and it has been so desperate. And it's as if you do not want to open up to this person. And what the universe is saying with this message for you, Aquarius, it's okay. It's okay. So go ahead, open up, because by communicating, opening up, um, sharing knowledge and wisdom, it is going to bring you a lot of um, stability. Then we look at the last week with this new start in the energy of the last week. We have this new start with Brea Alliance. So it's all about uh, motivating to work with others, to collaborate with others, and it is so good it's a beautiful goddesses that is going to be working with you guys in the last week in order to give you guys a new start and this is going to be wonderful then we see some situation of a new contract could be coming in this is the energy of uh, it's like a priest but it is always the blessing of uh, something new so some of you could be receiving a message that your partner is asking you um to get um to either move in together buy a house together or to create some sort of a contract by co-creating with each other so it could be buying a house together or it could be creating wealth together uh, but whatever is coming in it's about um, um, um a new contract some new contract that you're going to be signing some new contract that you're going to be placing yes i'm going to do this and this new contract whatever is transpiring is going to be creating a lot of wealth so as you see here with your eye of wisdom and knowledge and using that is going to be creating wealth for you and this is a very very important thing so collaborate with people um, use your eye of wisdom and knowledge to help others because it's going to be creating some huge financial stability. Some of you, uh, there could be some investigation that is going on about a whole lot of money. Um, however, this is uh, coming up and transpiring. It's coming from the work. Um, it's coming from um, out this, the area of work in your life that uh, some money could have been missing or some of you um, could find out that uh, some um, someone, a Cancer and a Sagittarian, could have done some real deceptiveness that is creating some alignment of uh, um, uh, instability in your world because of some deceptiveness that they have created. And this is all going to be coming out in the month of 
of uh, um, August. And the month of August is going to be a very, very beautiful um, month for you guys. No wonder how you look at this. It's going to be a really um, good month of alignment of energy because what is this really doing is releasing some of you from out of some sticky, little sticky situations that you were in. It's as if this month is coming back in order to bring a whole lot of you balance um, because some of you could have been call, um, connected to someone who has done some sort of a crime um, by fraud in other people. It could be, um, this could be from the work floor. This could be something that is happening in relationships, people who you are together with because sometimes we don't know what our friends don't do when we're not around. And I see that this is going to be affecting a whole lot of you. So you have to be a ready on top of your game, understanding what is transpiring. Because if you don't, you are going to be realizing that some sort of a situation that has to do with your friends is going to be affecting some of you. So it's about um, information, news that is going to be coming in. Um, some situation that has to do with a Libran and a Sagittarian that is going to be affecting some of you world. Some of you are going to be turning your back on a Sagittarian. It could be a boss, but um, some information where it's going to be coming out. And I see that this person, um, your boss is going to be under investigation. So um, this is some serious situation. And I see some of you, um, you have to be ready for whatever is coming up because um, a whole lot of you are going to be having offers of people wanting to collaborate with you, to buy a house with you, um, to go live with you, to go share a place. Um, people are going to invite you to stay with them, that sort of a thing. If you need to move and you, you haven't found a place. But I see a lot of you, especially on the work floor, there is some form of investigation that um, some of you, you're... Um, co-workers could be on the investigation that is coming up and I see a lot of desperation because you guys could be connected to them at work and you're wondering because it has to do with a whole of a whole lot of money so people who are looking for higher wisdom um, people who were dealing with some form of investigation that was transpiring People could be writing. This is a time to write and use your information in order to help humanity. Um, people who were dealing with some legal issue where there was some form of investigation. This is definitely going to be over. So this is going to be good. A wonderful alignment of energies is coming up with new contracts. New contracts that is going to be creating a lot of wealth um, for you guys. Is going to be coming up and is going to be helping a lot of you to create some sort of a financial stability in your world. And that is going to be good. So um, I want to say thank you for being here. Please like and share these videos. Um, come back um, at the second week, third week and fourth week to see what was aligning with you. This energy accompany the first week and the second week. And for the rest, you go week by week to um, look at the transition that is coming up. The first week is, is, is more of information coming in. So be aware of that. You could be ending the month having a whole lot of financial success. I got a girl. Please like and share these videos. Leave your message. Let me know how you feel this, um, how you like this layout. And I will speak to you next time. It's good to become a member. So join the channel. Um, take the medium for 99 per month because there is extended, a whole lot of extenders um, that is not shown um, in the monthly readings. I love you guys. Got to go. Namaste.